Right guys, it's Bob here and uh, in this video I'm giving you my sort of overall impressions of uh, this. Now this is the uh, the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL. Now I actually um, quite like the uh, the whole sort of uh, the Windows system in general. Uh, I have had one or two minor sort of bugs come along with this phone now there seem to be at the minute it's probably not going to do it because the main reasons i've been getting it seem to be when the patch when the power gets low and what i've been getting uh, one of the strangest ones was a split screen it was very difficult to sort of get past and what would happen is you would get a perfectly straight line right up the middle of the device and when you swiped up only one side would move so a bit strange from that point of view um and but the general outlay i mean I, I do actually like the os um it would be my next one along from ios really um if i was going to uh, move to anything it would be this and i don't know why people bash it so much yes it can be buggy and you know so on and so forth um obviously we've all seen it we all know that we can alter the size of these tiles we can make them smaller so you can get four together like that or you can go double sized you know lots of things like that so you can sort of customize it a little bit to the way you look and also you can change the color i've got it in like a blue scheme at the minute you can go to red and all sorts um another problem that it's been doing is uh, at badge counts uh, sometimes it takes a while to actually get all that to clear but you know other than that the, the phone generally actually works very very well the screen is absolutely stunning um i do love the absolutely the screen um the camera obviously that's your main focus on the, this device is the whole sort of you know it's that 20 megapixel camera isn't it you know i mean it it is an absolutely fantastic camera uh it also has like the live the live photo sort of thing a bit like um the new iPhones do so um, but uh, let's have a look I mean if you look at that camera on the back of there you know I mean it, it is a beast you know and you've got the RGB flash and everything uh, with the Zeiss optics and everything the front-facing camera 5 megapixel uh, right in that corner I, it took me a little while to get used to where it is because obviously I'm used to it being here um, but that gives some really good it's great for vlogging audio not so brilliant um, the audio department does definitely lack um, I mean it just it's sort of you know it, it can go quite loud but it's just got no depth to it um, so it's it's not really you know it's not really for me Cortana is fantastic uh, works absolute treat but um, also what I wanted to show you was um, basically um, continuum working because obviously I was sent the entire sort of setup now obviously the main feature of continuum or the main part is this dock here now it's you can see it's got a USB-C in the front in the back we've got three standard USB ports a USB-C power port and then your HDMI out and then there's another one uh, I can't actually remember what that uh, display was now but it's like a little um, another display port basically um, so that's uh, at the minute I've got that uh, I've got an adapter running in that so that I can run this old styled uh, archaic monitor from it uh, I was looking actually to see if I could find um, a Thunderbolt one so I could uh, try it on my Thunderbolt display but I couldn't uh, find an adapter anywhere but anyway let's plug this in it's all turned on and if we plug this in right so that is now charging the phone also which is a, a good point and you can see that's opened up straight away now and you can see also now that the monitor is turned on one nice little touch this becomes a touchpad so I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera that is now moving the obviously I've got it upside down but you can see that that is moving the mouse around here if I move it into that dark patch there you might be able to see it now that's a nice touch but it's not perfect for me because I'm right-handed it seems more obvious to put that there 
because they did supply me with a mouse as well so you know it's uh but let me just uh, go into here and right let me just turn the mouse on this mouse by the way i absolutely love it it's a right little gimmicky sort of thing really but i do love it uh, it's got a usb dongle which is in the back of there right now you supply your own batteries two triple a's but if i do that and it's turned itself on so that is absolutely i, I just love it I thought at first it doesn't really have a functioning scroll wheel properly, but it does. And what it is, it's this here, and it's like a it's like a haptic one. Now I don't know if you can let me just pull that near the mic. How bizarre is that? It feels strange under the finger, but you soon get used to it, and I I, I do actually really like it. So if I go now over here, and I've got no windows open, so but if I click that window symbol, you can see. That's the phone display now pops up on there. And from there, of course, now I can invoke any of those applications. And also if you use the scroll wheel, I can scroll through there. So you've got maps, and it'll open that up. Right, so we're on a 4G search now. So, and you can see the maps coming up now with my location. Just taking a little while to load because we're on we're not on a brilliant signal here in uh, Natherton. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can sort of leave that open and I can say like now. Um, I mean, I can still use the phone here to say open. Let's say open Word. Right now, the phone's asking me now actually for wireless gadgets. So let's just open this and that comes on. Obviously, automatically open it. It is magnetically controlled. You open it, it turns on. And charged via USB, uh, you can do, you can control two devices from this with number one and number two, and it will control Windows, Android, and iPad or iPhone. So, you know, it should be. There we go. It keeps saying that you can't find the accessory. That's another little bug. It'll tell you that it can't find it, but it has actually. When you pull down the uh, the tab at the top there, you can see it has actually uh, locked onto the uh, the keyboard. Now, where were we? Right, so let's open Word. And you can see that you can do that. Now if I click, you can see that on the bottom here, I've got the two open icons, but if I also click that, and you can see everything that you've got open there. So if I can basically fill that screen and then swipe through anything that's sort of open. So as you can see, it all works very well. I can invoke Cortana, so, you know, it, 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 I really do sort of, let's uh, have a look. So anyway, let's just get rid of the phone a moment, pick a blank document, and is that the, yeah, the caps lock is on, I think. And you can see there's a little bit of uh, delay there. So if we put uh, Happy Valentine's Day. I think, I think if you were, um, if you traveled for work and you would normally carry your phone and a laptop I suppose if you were staying in hotels where they've got a TV that you can hook up as long as you've got the right leads with you because they don't supply an HDMI lead they just supply all like the USB-C leads uh, two power bricks one obviously for the phone one to power the dock then I suppose if you were to just carry the, all that there with you in a small bag it means you've got your phone with you and then the ability to use it as a laptop it is still a little bit limited in this uh, sort of function and this way but it does work so if it's you know uh, the whole thing just needs some polish adding to it I do like it it is functional but it just needs polishing up it's um, it's it's just it's just lacking a little bit guys uh, the mouse I absolutely love the folding keyboard you know that's great I mean 
you know, even one of those might be worth buying, uh, even if you're an iOS user or something like that. You know, it's a great little keypad, keyboard, and I love this mouse. It, it is absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, that's it. I've just flattened that out. That'll now slip into a bag next to the keyboard, and it's off. You know, it's not using any power or anything like that. And if I take the dongle out at the back of there, and you can see that that's magnetic as well. So, I mean, obviously, if you were carrying them together, you'd probably just leave it in the back of the uh, the dock, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'll leave all the links below, guys. You can check it out. Um, you know, I think on its own, I think you can buy that dock for about £70, something like that. Um, it might be a little bit cheaper than that. I'm not sure if you look around. I think you can get deals and what have you. I'm not sure about the prices on these. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you if you... If you use the Microsoft phones then that is probably a worthwhile addition I mean they've got the price set on the Microsoft site if you buy the whole kit as £900 which I think is probably a little steep uh, considering that the phone itself is nearly 500 so you know from that point of view I mean I've really enjoyed using it this herd time I mean you know calls are crystal clear in fact I would say the calls are probably a little bit better than iPhone from that point of view the screen I feel is much better than my iPhone 6 plus and um, it's so crisp and clear I mean it just I mean you know you can't really sort of do it justice um, you know on here I mean that's just some pictures of some stainless steel clippings at work um, you know and that's some stainless steel channels it's it, you know you, you just can't really and then you've got this best light business and you know you there's so much you can do there's so many settings in the camera you know you can it's it's just it it would take forever to go into it all the amount you can do um the phone itself still needs well it's not so much the phone i think it's the software that really needs still needs some work and the main thing about the phone that i don't like is this case it's uh, it's a very very thin piece of plastic and i don't see many of them sort of surviving so I'd like to see the build quality made a bit better on the phone, on the device itself. But other than that, all in all, and absolutely, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a great sort of environment to carry around with you, I suppose. If, you, if, you, if you're not a lover of Mac, you prefer Microsoft, you know, Windows, that sort of thing. It's, I think it's, you know, it's going to function for you. It's going to do what you want it to do, especially if you go traveling around, use hotels, got a... Um, you know the use of a TV or something like that and you can plug it all in and it saves you just looking at that tiny screen you know while you maybe do some work before you go to sleep or have a meal or whatever um, so from that point guys uh, yeah it's I'm not sure that it's worth 900 pounds for that lot um, I would probably shop around for deals and sort of break it down into bits and pieces obviously you're not locked to these particular ones you know if you're only going to use it on a fixed desktop then there's no you know then you could just get a standard sort of bluetooth keyboard bluetooth mouse so on and so forth and just go around i mean obviously they that actually connects to the phone not to the dock the dock itself doesn't have any bluetooth um, card in it or anything like that so you know it's good stuff i just i would just like to see this toughened up on the phone itself and then obviously the software bugs should get ironed out in time so a huge thank you to lumia for sending it out for uh, review and i will see you guys in the next video cheers guys see you